This is Mount Tambora. It's located on one of the islands in Indonesia and in 1815 it erupted catastrophically. In fact, it's the most powerful volcanic event in recorded history. And it pains me to say this, but if it erupted again, and it will erupt again, we're not ready for it. On the Volcanic Explosivity Index, which basically measures how explosive volcanoes are, this measures a VEI-7, which is basically a super colossal eruption. And the reason why it's a VE7 is because back in 1815, the eruption ejected 45 cubic kilometers worth of material into the atmosphere. This propelled a massive ash cloud plume right into the sky, and it released over 60 megatons of sulfur dioxide which significantly impacted the global climate. Within the vicinity of Mount Tambora, 10,000 people lost their lives, and a further 90,000 people lost their lives due to post-eruption famine and epidemics. Now, this is how crazy this volcanic eruption was. In the following year, so 1816, it is known as the year without a summer. Average global temperatures dropped by 0.5 degrees Celsius, with some regions having one to three degrees Celsius drops in the next couple of years. It was a truly transformative volcanic eruption. And Mount Tambora, before the eruption, was around 4.8 kilometers tall. After the eruption, it went down to 2.6 kilometers. That is how colossal that eruption was. Now you might ask, why was this volcano so powerful? Well, it's a stratocone volcano, which is one of those classic volcanoes you would draw in a picture, long, tall, and pointy. And it had been dormant for a while, which meant there was plenty of pressure building up within the caldera or where the magma sits. It's worth noting itself that the magma was very viscous and rich, containing sulfur, carbon dioxide, and water. All of these compounds increase its explosiveness. And you might be asking, why did the earth cool down? Well, remember the 60 megatons of sulfur dioxide? Well, once that reached high enough into the atmosphere, they essentially became aerosols blocking out sunlight. This led to a significant global cooling. In some parts of America during the summer months, there was frost and snow. In Europe, there was so much rainfall that they couldn't farm properly. There was agricultural devastation. Poor harvests meant food shortages, which meant increased prices, which basically made it shit for everybody. And because of increased prices, there was increased starvation, which led to more famine, which led to more epidemic disease. Basically, one volcano caused a lot of shit. And Mount Tambora remains an active volcano, and it is due another eruption. Geologists estimate that within the next century, there is a one in six chance that Mount Tambora will erupt. Now that doesn't mean to say that it's going to be as explosive as the 1815 one, because Mount Tambora did actually erupt in 1967, but it's also impossible to predict whether it will be as explosive. All we can do is monitor the volcano and hope it doesn't blow its top off. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, share, follow. I've had such a good time making videos this year, and I wish everyone a happy new year, and I will see you next year.